Somebody asked me uh, in one of my comments uh, how to get loyalist. So loyalist, it says over here if you go to help, right? And if you go to uh, character over here, you go to loyalist. So it says happy peasant warriors and lords can develop a deep love for the king and become loyalist. So th that first sentence tells you already how uh, they can become loyalist. So they need to be happy and that's it. So you're going to say, how did I make them happy? Well, to be honest with you, it's pretty much the basic, like the food. Like you see over here, you got to look at their mood. See, he's super mega happy. So it can be he's in love with somebody. Uh, he had a meaningful conversation. He's eating a lot of good meat. So if you look at the meat over here, if you give them flour or meat uh, or flavor ale, along with the buff over here, there's like a buff that gives them double uh, something. Varn Moonshine, the negative thought, the negative thought brought on by consuming moonshine in the province will be half as strong. So this will half, like if they have a let's say minus six mood debuff, uh, you will now have a minus three mood debuff, and I'll show you later. So that's very important to learn in order to make them happier. I mean, they're going to be unhappy, but they will be less unhappy, meaning that you have higher chances for them to be more happy. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like confusing, but that's that. Cooking meat, the positive thought brought on by eating meat in the province will be twice as strong. So this is super important, guys, and it's very cheap. The book is like 98 gold. You want to get that ASAP because when you make meat and you see I have a lot of meat, and when you sell those meat and when people uh, eat those meat, uh, the positive thought will be twice as strong meaning they will be super mega happy for eating meat and they will be that the chances of them becoming loyalists is even higher so you want to consider that maca l so the positive thoughts but uh, brought on by drinking flavor l will, will be twice as strong as well so if you're making this like the one i'm doing over here and if you're selling it you know in the market and people are drinking it they will be super mega uh, happy same thing with the lord so when they drink that they'll be happy she's eating meat right now so she's going to be extremely rap happy in her loyalty as you can see if i click her um and she is a loyal lo i think she is a loyalist no she's not a loyalist she was a loyalist, but she lost it because I did something in the past or something happened. But I know I do have loyalists. Look, I'm going to show you. I have a lot of them, actually. I did not even know. Uh, not this guy. So this is a fanatic. Fanatic is uh, different. This is for the, the bishop. So technically, they believe in Mother Sophia, uh, which is good also for the, the uh, matriarch, technically. So the more fanatic you have, the better, the better it is for the matriarch, which is good for the trader. But if you want loyalists... So here I don't have any. Let me double check. See, I have one over here. So this guy, uh, I guess this girl, Kefera, she's a loyalist. Why? Because she's very happy. Why? Because this two successful king victory in battle yeah so it, when you win in battle when you defeat like bandits you will have a big buff that's uh, very advantageous so if you can raid bandit camps i highly recommend it make sure you're properly geared and you overwhelm the enemy so that you can guarantee a win and that lasts for five days so this is very good and then they will be super mega happy successful king super mega happy our king always gets what he wants all our neighbors envy us the king fulfill his ambition so the king needs to be able to show that he is capable for that then like i don't know you have to do trades so over here see, so here i doing trading with him i'm actually buying mines mining bar i'm actually selling ale uh, here i'm actually buying uh this guy over here this flower thingy uh, herbs sorry and and i am also selling um paper right so i am capable and also you have to be have a good like friendship with them and this one i have 178 look at that so when you have a good friendship it shows to the people that you're capable you know what i mean so was it this one or w which one was it again this one amon so he's a loyalist look at look at that mood 100 holy shit brave king our king acts like a true brave Caden. like i like it the character values Caden align with the king's aggressive policy another way to make them happy is to make build them houses so peasant house so you can actually learn it uh over here so this guy over here so this is very cheap 90, 91 gold 98 gold i think and once you learn it you can build a house a uh, peasant's house and if you click on them they are super mega happy 100 percent. look at that separate housing so yeah guys so the uh, but fanatics cannot be uh, loyalists by the way so yeah you gotta bear that in mind it's only people who are not fanatics that can be loyalists the last thing i forgot to mention is the temple so as you can see here if you look it says uh fanatic uh, plus 49 uh, this one over here fanatic plus 82 this one over here i have nobody and i have another temple over here fanatic plus 39 what it means that when you like put somebody over here they will make sermon they will make like uh you know like the what he's doing over here like sermon 
and there's a higher chance to get fanatic when you do a sermon so you don't want to do it like when you start the game it's good to have fanatic the reason is the more fanatic you have the more good relationship you have with the matriarch and the matriarch will send uh you know those merchant at the start in order to for you to buy stuff so at the beginning you need him so at the beginning you need the matriarch more than you need loyalist to be honest with you it's only like at the end game when you like are where i am right now you want to have more loyalists than fanatic you know what i mean because you're about to you know like become an emperor and you're actually uh your goal is to actually make them your vassal so that everybody is under your command but when you do that uh the matriarch doesn't like you and you st he start to you know like hate you technically so there's no need to have more fanatic you want loyalists so end game is good to remove all these people over here i'm going to remove them because now i want to have loyalists because over here like like it says if you look carefully, the productivity of loyalist peasant is 30% higher. So you need that productivity because uh, you need to do like your army, right? So if you want to make like, uh, you know, like armor or if you want to make weapon, you know, and if you want to be productive in the field, then you want them to be loyalist so that they are more productive so that you can build your army with the armor and the weaponry that you can have because you cannot buy weapons and armor anymore from the matriarch because, like I said, you have less fanatic, you understand? So that's pretty much it, guys, about how to become loyalist. And I'm not sure if I forget anything. If you have any questions, uh, leave it in the comment as well. So uh, thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Cheers.